In this video, we're going to look at right angles. So a right angle is sometimes shown with this little symbol. Okay, so if you've got an angle and this little square box symbol in there, that means that this is a right angle. And a right angle is a 90 degree angle. Okay, so the angles in a right angle will always add to 90 degrees. So for example, if I had two angles, just to say X and 60 degrees, and this was a right angle, to find X, what I would do is I would take the angle they gave me, so it's 60 degrees, away from 90. So I'm going to do 90, subtract 60. Whenever I do that, I get 0, uh, 9 take away 6 is 3. So my answer would be 30 degrees. So that means that this X is equal to 30 degrees. Okay, so the angles in a right angle add to 90 degrees. They're sometimes shown with a little square box. And if you're given one angle in a right angle, to find the missing one, you would take the angle they give you away from 90 degrees. Let's have a look at a typical exam question. So here's a typical exam question. It says the angle ABC, so ABC, is a right angle. So that means that it is 90 degrees. And it says work out the value of X. So it's given us 18 degrees. And we need to work out the remaining part of the right angle, that are what's left. So let's take our 18 degrees away from 90. So we're going to do 90, subtract 18. Zero take away 8, you can't do. So we're going to need to borrow one from the uh, 9, call it an 8, and then make that a 10. 10 subtract 8 is equal to 2, and 8 subtract 1 is equal to 7. So the answer would be 72 degrees. So that angle X is 72 degrees. And that's it. So if you ever see a right angle symbol, the symbol, we, you can write 90 degrees beside it. And if you're ever given two angles, so which may form a right angle, you can take the angle they give you away from 90 degrees to find the missing angle. If, for instance, they give you three angles to make 90 degrees, you would add the two they give you and take it away from 90 to find what's left.